How's it going everyone? It's time for Darren's daily five minute bit of driving wisdom. If you like this content, go to YouTube, check out Darren Keim, like, subscribe, share. Today I want to talk about how road rage and letting people cut you off is actually the same way as loving others as you would love yourself. So, what do I mean by that? All right, if you let somebody cut you off, you are clearly probably going to be annoyed. You're going to be probably angry. You're going to be, I don't know, if if you are like me, yeah, you may honk on the horn. The finger may come out here or there, time or two. But let me say this. When you do that, you are... Uh, perpetuating something that happens then when you need to get into traffic really quickly because I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there. I don't think this is going out too far on a limb to say that I think that we have all had to cut people off or we've done it. We've all been guilty of it. And when we do it, and if somebody honks at us and gets mad at us for it, that's when it's like, oh, come on, dude. Didn't you see that I was just trying to get in? We have a good reason, a good excuse for why they shouldn't be mad at us. But when they do it to us, we have a major problem with that. So I guess what I'm getting at is that when you allow people to cut, to cut you off, or if you wait patiently for them in traffic and they do their thing in front of you, you let them in, whatever, you're basically ensuring that the rules come back your way. It's very similar to what the teaching of karma talks about. And it's fun looking at the overlap between when Jesus is talking about loving others as you would love yourself, you're essentially saying, hey, you dude, when you're coming through traffic, I understand that you are trying to get somewhere just like I am. You've got a story just like I do. And it's not a bad thing. You're not a bad person because this happened. I'm going to let you in. And by you doing that, and let's say that society were to all do that, that's what allows you to ensure that you're getting it back for yourself. So when you're loving other people in that way, you're loving yourself. You know, there's a big comparison, I think, that can be made also in sports or in politics to something like this. So in politics, I think what we see a lot of times is you get you get one side that tries to get their way as fast as they can without having to deal with the consequences of understanding that that may be coming back around on them. So you'll see protests for certain things on one side. But then when somebody does something on the other side, they've got a major problem with that. Uh, the lesson to be learned is be civil, be cool with people that you might not agree with. Show them love because when you're showing them love, you're also loving yourself. You're loving them like you would love yourself. That's the point. Sports are the same way. Uh, you got referees that are there basically calling it fairly. One team may hold the other team. They call it when it happens. They're not saying, hey, you're my favorite team, so I'm going to let you hold this player. When the other team is up, then they get penalized for it. It doesn't work that way because it's going to come back around. So the big thing that I think that can be learned in daily life is when it's easy to get mad at somebody, when it's easy to not relate to them, to step back and understand that, like, we all have a story. We all have a reason for what we do. And we're going to be the first ones to come up with a list of excuses for why it's justified in this situation for us. And you know what? You might be right. So maybe what needs to be done is a little bit more empathy, a little bit more empathy and understanding. Hey, you know, these people are just like me with their own stories in their own way. I might not have the, the exact uh, situation or circumstances that they do, but it's worth giving them that space, showing them a little bit of helping hand, a little bit of love, because you know what? That stuff, when we all do it, it comes back around. And so loving others the way you love yourself in the uh, act of letting somebody cut you off and not having road rage, 
maybe that's a little practical lesson that we can all learn from uh, that is in line with the teachings of the GOAT, the JC of Naz. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this whole five minute uh, procrastination, anti procrastination thing. Again, what these talks are is encouraged by a post that I read about where they talk about a study showing that if you can give five minutes of your time to, to anything, you can um, then push past that procrastination because five minutes, you know, it's a commitment to like, you can commit to anything for five minutes, especially if it's something that you say that you really want to do. And I was looking through a journal of mine this morning and one of the things that I wrote when I was getting ready to turn 40 was I'm going to be the person that I always want to be instead of always wishing that I was the person that I always wanted to be. So there's a difference in action or in thought. You got to put your actions into practice or all that they are is they're just, it's just buzzing going around in your head. And if you're not going to do something about it, then you got nothing to complain about. Either own it or change it if you can change it. Anyway, so if you like this content, that's all I got for you today. Darren Kime on YouTube. Go check it out. And um, like, subscribe, share. I got another subscriber yesterday. I'm up to 113. That's what's up. Let's keep them coming. All right. Love you guys. Bye.